boys and girls. Today we're going to make a fish kite. So this is a very fun project that they do in Japan on Children's Day, which is May 5th, which is also Cinco de Mayo. So obviously it's a very special day with lots of cultures celebrating. wanted to talk today for a minute about change. You have gone through a lot of changes in your life and change happens to be one of our key concepts that we talk about at Hayes. So how is the world changing and how can we change along with it? So today you made a fish kite and it turned out pretty cool. Now you might have used crayons, but there's a lot of different ways that you can make changes in your art too, since you're not at school and you don't have all the same supplies. For example, I used cut pieces of paper for my streamers, but at home you might have some different things. Maybe you have some crepe paper from a party or something. You, those would make really nice streamers on the end of your fish kite. Another cool thing is Curling ribbon. If you have curling ribbon, that would also make some cool streamers. Um, another change that you might need to do, today I showed you using glue. I used a glue stick to glue this part together. You might use a stapler. If you have a stapler at home, you could certainly just staple the ends of your fish and that would make it strong too. Another thing you could do is you could use scotch tape and you could just tape the edge of your fish. So if you don't have string or yarn at home, you can use a shoe string. Everybody's got shoes at home and you can use an old string. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a shoe that fits you anymore. You could use the one you're using right now and then put the string back in after you're done playing with your fish. Don't cut it, you don't need to cut the string. You can just put it through each side of the fish and then pull it along. You can put it through both sides of the fish. Here you go. And you don't even need to tie a knot on the end. You can just pull it like this. And the last kind of change I wanna talk about is if you happen to have other art supplies, of course you're welcome to use markers to color your fish. You could use a marker. Or if you use crayons afterwards, you could color it with watercolors. And I'm gonna do a quick fast forward to show you how to do that. 